On Main Street in downtown Janesville, Caitlin Klein commits to her eighth ink job. Just outside the door of the tried and true tattoo parlor, the Rock River is making its own mark. Ridiculous. <laughs> um... I mean, it's a concern. Mike Benaj is an artist at the parlor and says they're feeling the pain of the river in their basement. We're looking at water right now. I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's that tub is about that deep. The river's at 11 and a half feet and is expected to hit another foot when it crests Monday. We're continuing to monitor problem areas and um, and, and see if uh, we need to put other measures in place uh, to prevent uh, pr further damage to either public or private property. Jay Winzen's assistant city manager says this season the goal is to learn from the nightmare of 2008. Main Street was completely full of water and, uh, and, and the area we're standing was full of water and uh, we had carp swimming in North Main Street and all sorts of uh, other good things and that's what we're trying to avoid at this point. Since then, Janesville's added rocks to the banks and more open space near problem areas. We've been here before, we know what to expect this time around and uh, because of that, you know, we're, we're better able to plan um, and we've made some infrastructure improvements in the meantime to, to hopefully minimize the impact on everybody. The best case scenario for Winzens and the city is that river levels drop before Caitlin Klein's ink dries.